This blaster was created by Northeast Designs and printed by Foam Demic. I actually purchased this blaster to take a look at it because it's very unique. The stylings of it really caught my eye because I don't see much of anything that looks like it. So I, I do like how this looks and I wanted to see what the performance is. Also, this is a bullpup and I don't have a lot of bullpup springers. You know, I have the Lynx and uh, that, was a, that was about it. So I was like, you know what? Let's take a look at some more bullpup springers because I'm starting to really like bullpups. So in today's video, we're gonna take this outside, we're gonna do some accuracy checks, we're gonna get some chronograph readings, and we're gonna give our overall impressions of the Chimera from Northeast Designs, printed by Foam Demic. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So let's run down some of the key features of why you should pick up a Camara, why they're so good. Number one, my most favorite is the easy field stripping. You can basically pull off these three little, little uh, hand tightened screws here and then pull out a pen and then boom, you can remove the back end, get to the spring, change out the spring. And overall, I'm very impressed with this design here. It's pretty cool. Secondly, you got your tools right here. I, I love this type of idea that, you know, you got some real estate on your blaster, go ahead and design some things that are useful. It's kind of utilitarian, I really like it. So right here, unscrew that, you got a couple Allen wrenches that help with takedown. I already covered that I like the design, it's very unique, very cool looking, but it also can perform. This blaster right here is now consistently hitting over 200, I wouldn't say over 200 FPS, but I think it's more like 210, 205 plus FPS, which is really nice. I did tease this blaster earlier, I think last month or so, and I was hitting lower numbers, but it turns out in transit, when I purchased it and it got to me, it looks like a, a bolt fell out, and it was um, this one right here, and it turned out I couldn't get a good seal, so I was actually losing a lot of performance. So I, I, I found the bolt, put it back in, boom, this thing was slapping over 200 FPS. So I'm really excited, really happy with this thing and it's just been a complete joy to play with. So operation of the blaster is really simple. Essentially, you prime it. Back here, you have a magazine release. This thing can only be loaded when it is primed. These are Talon mags and they shoot the foam darts. Let's take a moment to talk about these darts. Here on the Dr. Flux channel, I'm starting to realize that when I test these blasters, it's kind of it's kind of important to use some fresh darts. If you want to see Performance for old darts and new darts, let me know, but most of you probably want to see, you know, when you purchase a fresh pack, what kind of performance you get. So in today's video, I actually purchased a pack of these Adventure Force darts. These are basically a dart zone short dart. Very good darts, very crisp, strong heads. Glue is amazing on them. The reason why I prefer these over the other red dart zone darts is these darts in particular come in a package that forms around them and keeps them pristine, whereas the other darts just get thrown into a big old jar and there's a potential for them to get, you know, pinched and whatnot and not have that perfect dart shape. So I think overall these are really good. The drawback to these is I, they're, they're black and they're harder to see when they hit the ground and the, the orange heads get buried into the ground and the, they get very hard to find. So I wish these darts right here came in a brighter color, you know, even white or, or red or yellow or something brighter, these would be much better in my opinion, but whatever. So with that all said, if you can support the channel, I greatly appreciate it. Maybe you don't wanna join a Patreon or a membership page. Well, there is also a new option down below where you can just donate a few dollars to help for, you know, dark cost, which is a big help. So any, any money that you donate to the channel, I will use to put right back into more darts and purchase more blasters so we can keep the, keep the channel going and keep giving you the videos you wanna see. But enough about all that, let's go ahead and look at the performance of this. Now I took this outside and shot targets at 30 feet. This thing is extremely accurate. I can tell you at 50 feet on up to probably about 100, this thing is gonna be a reliable, good tagger.
Also, we have some chronograph numbers here. This blaster is shooting well over 200 FPS, very consistent. Now, as far as what is in here, I'm not sure what spring foam demic put in here. If she leaves a comment in the comment section, I'll go ahead and pin it in this video so we can actually see what is what this is. I would say it's K25, but it looks like it might be a little bigger than K25, so I'm not sure. Now, there's a couple little things to talk about. Uh, number one, ergonomics. I think this thing is super comfortable. It feels really good in the hand. It just has a very organic look to it, and I, I really appreciate it. Secondly, the sight profile is pretty nice on this thing. We have some built-in sights here and here, and a little bit of Picatinny. This is a very nice cheek rest, very comfortable. We do have some sling point mount deals on the side here. One very unique thing about this blaster is when you prime it, the entire magwell moves, which I have not seen that before. As you can see, it actually moves back and forth. Now for price point, this thing is pretty decent, pretty moderate. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description if you wanna check one out, if you wanna pick one up today. So in closing, can I recommend the Camara? I would say yes. If you are a fan of bull pups, if you love blasters a little bit unique, a little bit different, I think this is a really good design. I also wanna grab the, I think it's called the Venturi. That's the more of the pistol version from this designer. And I don't know what it is about these designs. Like they're just different. They just feel and look different than everything else. And I really appreciate that. If this is something that, you know, you're just completely like, ah, I don't think that looks that great, but you still want a bull pup. I'd go with the, the tried and true Lynx. You know, behind me, I have a Lynx. That's a great blaster to go with. But if you want something a little bit different, something, cause I'm sure you're gonna see a lot more Lynx out there than you will Camaros. So if you want something to a little bit more unique, I think this is a good offering. Well, I'm Dr. Flux and that pretty much wraps up today's video. Thank you for watching. If you could please leave a comment down in the comment section, like the video, share the video with a friend, and as always be safe and happy foam flinging. Oh, you're still here? Uh, okay, well, if you got this far and you're not subscribed, make sure to do so. It helps the channel tremendously. And while you're here, check out this video. You might like it. <laughs>